Welcome to Trend Labs, Trend Market's Research and Development Center. This year's host for our security roundup. We are joined by our Chief Technology Officer, Mr. Ryman Guinness, who will talk about his security predictions for 2013. Welcome, Ryman. Thank you, Myla. Okay, good to see you. So talking about 2013, I'd like to find out, how do you see 2013 in terms of the security landscape? Yeah, before we talk about the security landscape, I think we have to look at how people are using devices mm -hmm. now 2013 and the years to come because it's a little bit different than before when you had mm -hmm. one working computer, maybe a notebook when you're traveling. Now yep. we have all kind of different devices. People are carrying their smartphone and a lot of people do most of their email via their smartphone nowadays. Mm -hmm. They use a tablet to create some content mm -hmm. and they use a notebook if they're a real knowledge worker, like when they do presentations and so on. But the user normally now carries along two or three yeah. devices and the problem will be to protect all of them. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And I think with the convergence of a lot of technology and ha people having an average of about two devices, that will be a huge problem. What do you see with Windows 8 coming in in, in, uh, in the market? Yeah, Windows 8 is really interesting. Let's see how successful it will mm -hmm. be in the tablet space because clearly uh, Apple with iPad is the dominant player there. But Windows 8 as a desktop system mm -hmm. is pretty interesting. I would say Microsoft there has done a pretty good job protecting mm -hmm. their operating system better, like doing memory randomization and all this kind of stuff. They definitely have created a safer operating system. Right. The big question is how much this operating system will be accepted. Mm -hmm. I see an acceptance in the consumer space because yep. new computers are shipped with it. Mm -hmm. But in the enterprise space, most mm -hmm. companies say, let's wait and see. Especially this new user interface means a lot of retraining for the enterprise user base. So a lot of companies will not invest in this. Mm -hmm. So it seems that an improved security for consumer Yes. in terms of the market. We cannot not talk about mobile. I think it's one of your favorite topics as well. What do you see in the mobile industry and how vendors and the whole ecosystem will revolve uh, in 2013 when it comes to security? Yeah. At first, you have to look at the different ecosystems. Mm -hmm. We have, for example, RIM BlackBerry, yeah. which is an enterprise device. But at the moment, it does not have a lot of market traction. Even mm -hmm. enterprises who invested into it are switching to other operating systems because at the moment, BlackBerry is not very sexy. Mm -hmm. This might change with the latest version, which is RIM OS 10, BlackBerry OS 10, mm -hmm. which will be released end of January. And they have a pretty good concept separating private data and business data. So for business, that's a perfect device. Let's see how much traction it gets from end users, how much demand it gets. Mm -hmm. Then we have iOS, which is strong in smartphone and the dominant player in tablets. Mm -hmm. And then we have Android, which is everywhere. Android is the number one mobile operating system. Indeed. That's interesting. Everybody, Samsung, HTC, LG, mm -hmm. are distributing Android phones. But that's also the problem because all these phones have a slight different flavor of their operating system, mm -hmm. which makes it difficult to patch, which makes it difficult to update. And when you look at a lot of these devices are still running on Android 2.3, mm -hmm. which is very old, yep. while the latest version are ice cream sandwich, honeycomb, mm -hmm. version 4.1, 4.2. The bad guys, unfortunately, the cyber criminals are reading these statistics as well. Mm -hmm. And Android is an open operating system different to a closed ecosystem mm -hmm. as iOS or BlackBerry. Right. That's why we see malicious code mm -hmm. on this. And we predicted last year that there will be hmm, maybe 125,000 malicious mm -hmm. mobile malware. We've been totally wrong. By year end, we will have 350,000. And our prediction for 2013 will be at least 1 million mobile malware on Android. So it's really scary. So for Android, you definitely need security software on That's it. That's right. 350,000 is a scary forecast last year, and I think 1 million is a little bit over the top. I think this will be a good news to a lot of the cyber criminals. So talking about that, what do you see in the cyber crime industry? They definitely have perfected their business models. They're making a lot of money mm -hmm. in a lot of different ways. So again, they read statistics. This is why they focus on Android. They figured out how to make money with it, with premium mm -hmm. SMS, with stealing data, mm -hmm. with even industrial espionage on mobile devices. This is why they focus on Android, because mm -hmm. they could do it there thanks to the openness of the ecosystem. 
in traditional PC-based malware. Mm -hmm. I would say we will not see a lot of wows, a lot of brand new stuff. What we will see are mutations mm -hmm. of existing attack schemes. So they will alter the codes that the security industry doesn't detect it initially, but they will use the same basic attack tools and say they will use the same infrastructure, which is actually good news for us because no matter how often they change the code, with our reputation technology, where we know where the bad actors mm -hmm. are, where we know where the command and control centers are, we actually will be able to detect it. Not the code itself anymore, but the communication to the right. command and control center from where they control the data, where mm -hmm. they upload the stolen credit card information, they upload the corporate data and so on. But they will perfect it. They will use more encryption, mm -hmm. they will use more dynamic hosting centers and so mm -hmm. on. So, I don't see a big change in the threat landscape mm -hmm. because they know how to do it. It just will be permutations. We hope you were able to expand how Trend Marco sees 2013 when it comes to security. Again, we would like to thank our CDO, Ryman, for joining us. And we look forward to more deep down and dive in details in terms of all these four aspects. Thank you very much for joining.